Hi guys, it's Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. And you guys love the Be Bold color block so much. The Spellbinders has brought out a few more new ones. So if you didn't catch my video, I made this beautiful love one. This is on a standard A2 size card. I'll link the video at the end for you. Well, they now have come out with a slimline version, which is birthday. And all I did here was cut this out of some patterned paper and put that on a slimline card. But the one we're gonna be working on today is, thank you. So this is a mini slimline, and here you can see the die comes with the thank and then the you, okay? So we're gonna play with this today. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our card stock, and the size on a mini slimline is six and a half by three and a half. So, I'm gonna bring in some white card stock. <clears throat> and since it's three and a half, we're going to cut it down the middle at seven, score it at three and a half. And we said six and a half in length, right? You're actually going to make, you're going to be able to make, I think, two cards out of what I'm going to try to do here. So, all right. The next thing I'm going to do is I want a background that's not white. So I'm going to cut a piece of black card stock to six and a half by three and a half. All right, so you can see that is the perfect size. Now, <clears throat> the rest of this I'm gonna do off camera, which is just die cutting, <clears throat> just to save us time. So before I do any die cutting, I wanna put a little bit of um, adhesive behind here so it makes it easier for me to assemble the card. So I'm gonna use a little bit of Stick It. <clears throat> And this is a very thin adhesive, um, which makes it easier when we're die cutting to peel the backing off and attach it to the card. So I'm just gonna lift a little bit of the backing here. I don't wanna remove the whole thing because it doesn't look like, I don't wanna waste any of it. double-sided tape of course you could use glue whatever you have okay so now we're gonna fold this back over Again, we can save these extra pieces because we will be using those. So now this is um, has adhesive on the other side. So now we can die cut this. So let me go do that and I will be right back. Okay guys, we have that all die cut. And the reason I want to keep some of these pieces is because we can actually use it twice. And this will fit straight across the measurements that we have here for this three and a half by six and a half card. And I'm going to grab my little pokey tool. <clears throat> and what I need to do now carefully is I'm going to... Um, Remove the letters. I 
and I want to keep all the negative pieces. And once I have the letters removed, I can then take these letters and move them over to a card, maybe with a colored background. But for right now, I'm going to set these letters aside, but you can see you can use those letters on another card. Um, again, very easily it will spread. And like I said, I'm going to save these for some kind of a colored background and then put those on. But for right now, we're gonna put these aside. And I wanna focus on what's left here, which is the the background, or the um, the, out, the outline pieces, right? So we wanna keep all of those, and I still wanna keep them in the die, okay? So that's gonna help us line it up. So what I wanna do here now is I wanna remove, carefully remove the lining off of all of the letters. Okay, so I'm not going to make you guys watch that. I'm going to pause the video, and when I come back, we should have them all exposed with the adhesive like this, but still in the die. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so I have all the adhesive removed. Not hard to do, just takes a few minutes to get that done. And I like using a light adhesive like Stick It. If you use a heavy adhesive like a double-sided tape like scrapbook.com or Elizabeth Craft Designs, it's a very thick and heavy tape. So just keep that in mind. It might make it a little more difficult, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my card and I want to make sure the crease of the card is at the top of the die. And I'm very carefully going to line this up over the die. And we're going to press it down. I'm going to slide it towards me. Okay. Then I'm gonna just take my pokey tool and I'm gonna poke everything into place. Okay, and everything should, keyword is should, fall into place, okay? All right, so that looks really cool, right? But you know me, I can't leave well enough alone. What I'm gonna do now is set that aside and I'm going to they have a little piece of black here. I'm gonna die cut the U out of that and we can put a little adhesive behind that as well. A little piece here. Okay, so we will Make sure the adhesive is on the back and put that through the die cutting machine. But I want to do each of the letters in a different color of foil card. Yes, I know that's probably being a little ambitious, but I think it'll look very pretty. So I have some foil card I pulled out of my stash here. Of course, you know Nancy's going to try to do this in rainbow order. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cut one of each letter and out of each color. So I'm going to do that. I'll be back in a moment, guys. Okay, guys, I have all the letters cut out of the foil card here. As you can see, nice and beautiful. So we're going to bring our card back in. I did not put adhesive on the back of these letters because they are large enough that I can just go in with my fine tip glue.
and we're just going to line those up into place. So again, you could do this the easy way and just die cut it out of some pattern paper. Or if you want to jazz it up a little bit, you can do it out of make your own foil toner sheets, which I've shown you guys, or um, foil card that you have in your stash. Maybe you have leftover pieces in your stash. Um, I always have like these small, these are only small little uh, inch and a half strips, you guys. I just cut out and then cut them. So you don't have to waste a whole sheet of paper. You can mix and match a little collage of different types of papers. Uh oh, this one doesn't fit. I think that moved. Well, the good news is this stick it adhesive gives you a little bit of working time. So since we didn't brayer that down, look at that. Isn't that nice and easy? So we're going to move this and into place. Looking good. So now we have the thank all done. I just realized my end is upside down. That's probably why it didn't fit. And I know that because there's a gap here and that gap is supposed to be touching the A. So let's see if I can, I glued this and this glue is really fast drying glue. So I don't know if I'll be able to save it. Nope. All right. Well, make sure you don't put your end upside down. See this little groove here? That's supposed to be over here, but I don't think most people will notice that. And I don't want to destroy my foil card, so I'm going to leave that alone. Actually, knowing me, I'm going to end up taking it off and cutting a new end. But I'll do that off camera. <laughs> and then I cut out the U, the Y-O-U, and it has adhesive on the back already. And I'm going to put that down across the front here, just like I did here. But I want to fix my end so my end lines up perfectly there. I also wanted to show you guys a wonderful um, side effect of doing it this way. Is I kept all the little pieces that go in the card. So you can see that I have a second card and it will be the opposite. So I'll have... The black for the letters, the foil for the fill-in pieces there. And on this one, you can see I put my, my N is in the right direction. So for this, I will just go in and what I'll probably do is opposite adhesive on this, which means I will put adhesive all the way across the background and then just stick each piece in. So it's an inlay die cut, and you get two cards out of doing it. Yes, it's a little tedious, but I think it looks really cool to do it that way. So I'm going to go cut another end.
pull this one off and put it on the right way because that's going to drive me crazy. But you can see how easy it is with the Be Bold Color Block Thank You. And you can get these from Spellbinders. And again, there's Thank You, there's Happy Birthday, there's Love You. Um, there's also, I think, Merry Christmas, um, but the love also comes with the you just like that. So go check those out. The link is down below for you guys. Thanks for watching and keep on foiling. Bye guys. Oh, hey, welcome back. This is the fix it reel. <laughs> I figured you guys would want to see how I did that. So I just ripped that one off. I used some, um, some tweezers to get underneath there. Any of this extra paper that's left behind. I try to want to get as much of it up as I can so that there's not too much bulk under there. So I'm going to fix this one. And again, I want to remember that the slant, there's a little slant right there, goes up against the A. Okay. So that fits better. I can fix this guy here. A little closer. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna put these pieces back in. All right, and now it is finished. There we go. So I have a filled in thank you card. Of course, you could just cut all the pieces and then glue them in. Probably be easier than fussing with it like I am, but once you have that in place, you're gonna burnish down your black stick it pieces because um, once they're burnished down, then they will be more permanent than they are now. The glue that I use is a fast drying permanent glue, so I don't need to worry about that. And now I can go in with the YOU and put that on there. Although now that I see that it's black, I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. And then I'm gonna add a little shimmer pen on there just to make those letters pop a little bit. we go and I still have plenty of material left over to make my second card all right so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me fix my mistake there if you have any questions post them down below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already click that subscribe button and check out all the other videos that I have done for spellbinders thanks for watching guys